I haven't slept all night long. Oh, I guess I did for an hour or two. And then I'd wake up to feeling these horrible sensations. Horrible. You know, it's crazy. It's so crazy to be attacked by these things. I can't see them. I can't. I can't kick them away. I can't stop what they do other than going into my bathroom and just laying in water. Somehow they can't mess with me at that point. But laying in a hard tub is not very comfortable and it's a small tub. So I end up going back to my bed and then I get attacked a few minutes later when I start to relax and when I then start to drift off to sleep then the demons come and start causing, you know, trying to cause feelings that only my husband should be able to do to my body. And I am so sick of it. And... I don't, I don't know why God doesn't stop it, you know? I don't know. I really would like to know. I really would like to know. I, I'm not angry at God anymore though. I used to be angry at God that he wouldn't stop it. But I know that he's the only one who can deliver me from the pressure in my head. and He's the only one that loves me. I mean, he's my father. He's good. God is good. What Satan is doing to me is bad, but it's like Job. He said, though you slay me, yet I will trust you. Or, you know, the martyrs that were burned alive. That could not have felt very good to their flesh. Yet they loved, they loved the Lord. So I have learned that's the kind of love that I have to have for God. No matter how bad it feels physically. I can't be angry with him. I don't I don't get it how a good loving God would allow this stuff. I don't get it. I don't understand. But I know he is good. I know he's good. You know, you know with these demons I wanna get attacked by them like I am today haven't slept all night long. When I get attacked like this, I get so much pressure in my head. And nobody, not my husband, like, nobody understands what I feel. Nobody understands the pain and the physical pressure in my head. Like, you, no one, no one does. But God does. He does. You know, I don't have anybody to relate to. I have tried to find videos with other people getting attacked by demons, but like nobody, you know, how many people are really gonna be vulnerable like this and talk about something so crazy and detailed and intimate and stuff? Not many people. So I don't find anybody that I can relate to. But I know God, he understands. No one else does. I can talk to people about it. I can try to describe it. But no one understands. So I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. Because it's way too vulnerable. And I'm vulnerable. But like, I don't know. I don't know. It'll 
but I, w I wanted to make it for other people out there who are going <laughs> through demon attacks. You're not alone. Don't get mad at God. He loves you. He'll get you through it. He always gets me through it. The pain is strong right now in my head. and <sighs> But I know that in a, in a couple of days it'll be better. Sometimes the same day it'll be better. God always makes the pressure go down. He's faithful. He doesn't even let me stay with this pressure. He does make it go down. No, my gears go down too. It's amazing. I think back and I'm like, wow, how have I dealt with this for three years? There's been so many nights where I just cry and cry. And I beg God to make it stop and the demons just keep messing with me. And it's horrible. And I go, I'm like, how can I go another day? I want to die. I hate this. And I just look back and I'm like, holy moly, three years. How did I get through three years? How did I get through three years of demon attacks? <laughs> oh my gosh, how did I do that? Three years. I can't even believe it's been three years of demon attacks, but it's, it's by the mercy of God, one day at a time, one step at a time. And His comfort and faithfulness in it all. God's faithful. He gets me through it. No one else understands, but He does. Imagine when the people are burned alive. Can you even imagine how that would be? Your flesh is hurting so bad and the fumes and you can't breathe and you can smell your own flesh burning and your hair burning and how creepy and terrifying that would be spiritually, not only physically going through, but spiritually like, you know, like, but God is in it. God is in it. He's He's with them in it. He walks through the fire with us. Like he did for Mesh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He's with us in it. He makes it possible. He helps us to endure. Endurance. This is not like a fruit of the spirit, long suffering, long suffering. God bless you guys. Hope this helps somebody in some kind of way, or I don't know, whatever you're going through, be encouraged. You'll get through it. Just cling to the Lord, whether it be emotional, spiritual, whatever you're going through, physical. I'm going through physical. God will get you through it. God will get you through it. And uh, I'd, I'd rather be going through something emotionally and spiritually than physically from the demons. Because God always heals that. I always cry out to him and I always feel better when I'm feeling sad. Okay, God bless you guys. Have a good day. Bye.